Hello everybody, this is Rocco Gamer 45 and today we are playing Return to Unreal Doom Level 2, Part 1. So it's been a while since we played the first map, that's split into two, so now we're finally getting into the second one. Oh, there's some late spawners, oh come on really. Where do you go? Oh, what? Did he just teleport? How's that exactly fair? I need to get some more heavy firepower in here. Finish you off with a shotgun. No, oh, maybe he's close to death anyway. Anyway, this area looks quite cool. Um. Okay, so where are we going now? See, it's like a cool fortress, I'm guessing, around the outside. It, it looks cool. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be like the swimming mechanic. Let's take it, it's all working again. There's one thing I'll say about this map, and it was like this on the other one as well. When the enemies sort of spawn in before you're taking the other guys out, it should be a better way of doing it because if you take out the small guys, the big guys are the first ones to spawn in. So if you've got a big guy left, then the map's just full of big guys in the end, which is probably how it was intended, but it can lead to some pretty challenging fights, especially when the little guys are actually the ones that, at first of all, like these Hellraiser, they're, they're actually some of the hardest to take down. But when the map is full of big guys, that's when it gets a lot more crazy challenging, over challenging, challenging. <laughs> and so the Revenant left again. That fight wasn't that bad anyway. I'd be expecting a load of dudes. I'm out of my good ammo though, which is the problem. Okay, so that's filling up. That's, that looks cool. Here's everyone. All hidden around this corner. Dead, dead and gone. It looks like we've hit the end of a line. Wait, is this the start? That might be the start. Yeah, that makes sense. So, was there a purpose of filling this up with water? I'm going to go ahead and say there was a purpose. Did it open this? I'm not sure. Oh, let's not forget this though. So it must be something to do with this. Oh wait, never mind. This is open up right here. Let me out. There we go. I was stuck in there forever.
just what I needed. It's good. And it looks nice and cool in here. I still don't know how accurate it looks though, because I was once again I've not played. I was expecting that one to spawn. There's a lot of Manku by these levels. Oh! <laughs> this insta spawn fatty on my head. Oh god, good old fat size. Speaking of fat size, it reminds me of the back of the time when I first played through the play not PlayStation PC Doom. And I was trying to spawn in all the custom enemies. Or all the enemies. There was three enemies I couldn't spawn in. Uh, maybe two actually. Two that I remember that I can't spawn in. And that was the Imp and the Mancubus. Because I was, because if you know, there's a, there's a summoning code. It's summon Hell Knight, summon Baron, stuff like that. But with the Imp and the um, Mancubus, it was different. The Imp, it was summon Doom Imp. I don't know why it was a Doom there, but it took me ages to figure that out. And. No, I could never actually figure out the man cube is to actually looked online. And he is summoned fat so. Oh well hell no. Different. Yay. Yeah, it's summoned fat so. <laughs> and ever since then, it's when I knew the nickname or why they was called fat so or not. Because they're very big, well it is because they're really big, but also because of that. It's giving me a lot of rockets and I don't know why. Oh, this area looks really cool, by the way. Oh, good lord. Stop eating them and die! Thank you. Oh, and if... Come on. That's why I kind of meant about that thing earlier, when you're taking out the little guys, the big guys seem to spawn in, you didn't have enough time, but... Again, I guess we have got this weapon now, which is my favourite. Hands down the best Doom gun ever. BFG is more useful. It is the best gun, but it's always my favourite will be the SSG. And I think it's the fan favourite as well. I don't know. I haven't come across anybody that says they haven't liked the SSG. I know a lot of people say it's not their favourite, but I've not seen one person go, yeah, the BFG's, I mean, the, the SSG is quite crap. No one said that. Oh, okay, that was a short level. <laughs> Shorter than I thought it would be, actually. Wow. Okay, then, so what we saw of this part, the first part of the level, it was really cool, actually. Nice design, again. Bit of an interesting gameplay, I said. The only thing I've sort of changed is that when you kill one of the Manku by, that's when you get the next one to spawn in. I mean, you probably got it on set encounters already, so, well, obviously, the way it is set up on this level is if you kill a certain enemy, that's when the next wave is spawning in. So the only problem I really had with that, once again, was the fact that I was killing an imp, and then two, I was killing, like, an imp and a hellraiser, and then two cyberman cubi spawned in, before I'd even got around to fighting the, the normal man cubi. And it did lead to some pretty close in quarters, but actually, nothing too unbearable, I survived it all. Pretty fun map overall. So anyway, this has been Rock Card Game 45, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.